In 1978, Godfather director Francis Ford Coppola released a wine, later stating that he made more money from alcohol than he ever made from making movies. Nowadays, it seems like every celebo has an alcohol, and today, we're gonna drink them all. Yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. That was good. That was great. Thanks. We had the team put together a list of every celebrity-owned liquor brand. Suffice to say, there are more than there should be. There's a lot, and now we're going to drink them all. And by drink, I mean put them in our mouths, swish them around, get an understanding of the flavor, and then spit it into a bucket. Just like the sommeliers do. Let's get into it. Music industry tequila. We've got nine tequilas from music legends. First up, we have Cali Rosa tequila uh, from Adam Levine. Cheers, tequila from Adam Levine. The flavor was fine. Tastes like at least okay tequila. Late night mistakes. <clears throat> well, let's try the next one. Ha ha. Cha cha. Ha ha. Uh, this is from the Chain Smokers. They don't make cigarettes? Now nah, there's an opportunity. Did you see the story? The two of them admitted that they've f each other. And honestly, I respect them for that. Here's the thing that, that frustrates me with all of these is why all these white boys making tequilas? I mean, your wedding was in Mexico. Great point. White boys like tequila. Yeah, that's true. I think everyone likes tequila, but everybody changes a little bit on tequila. It's the only upper. It's still a depressant because there's still alcohol in it, but it has stimulants. It's derived from a stimulant plant. That's cool. You know, tequila can only be made in one specific part of the world, or else it ain't tequila. Mexico! Specifically, Jalisco. Yeah, just like champagne can only be made in Champaign Urbana, Illinois. I actually like this one more. It's making my tongue tingle. Yeah. I like the cha-cha. Has a little tiny bit of a burn, but a welcome one. The other one didn't have a burn at all. I think I like this one more. What's next? We have Codijo 1530 from George Strait. He's a country guy, right? Anybody? What's George Strait saying? Anybody? My exes live in Texas. All oh, my exes live in Texas. Oh, we like that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we're fans. I do like that all the tequila bottles have the You know what's bullshit? Just today, we had a video come out called Smoke Show. You can go watch it. It got age gated. It got demonetized. I worked so hard to not show any weed going into my mouth. But meanwhile, we can drink 50 something alcohols and YouTube says, hooray, Try Guys front page, Try Guys. Don't challenge them. Don't tell YouTube. <laughs> They're watching. <laughs> They're listening. Cheers. Wish we could upload stuff on YouTube where they didn't know about it. <laughs> this has more barrel flavor. Blanco means specifically that there was no barrel I involved. I know, but <laughs> it tastes like, didn't it have a wood to it? That makes sense. George Strait's kind of like a woody man. All the country guys have the woods in their music videos or a farm. Woods is just an untamed farm. Now I know what you're thinking at home. Ugh, if only Nick Jonas and John Vervedos had a tequila. Well, you're in luck. They do. Villa One. Do you think that when they taste it, they're like, oh yeah, that tastes like me. Ooh, the black plug. We love that. Ooh. Sounds like a after hours club. <laughs> it sounds interesting. It smells like they poured a little bit of cologne in it. A little bit corporate. Like it's been on a CEO's desk for decades. Christmas tequila. Story. That's my subjective experience. It's not wrong. The taste is so different from the first three that I can't, I can't believe it. I wonder if celebs do this. Okay, hear this out. You're going around the country, playing different venues. You put in your rider that they need to buy your tequila for your room. Therefore, they're just spending more money back to you. Yeah, maybe I should put my hot sauce on my riders. Oh, and I, I need 60 bottles of hot sauce. <laughs> Next on the list. Everyone's favorite celebrity, Rita Ora. Prospero. She was in the Fifty Shades franchise. She was in the Fast and Furious franchise. She, now she's married to Taika Waititi. Seems like she's having a good time. She's making tequila. This design looks like a menu at, at like a Times Square Mexican restaurant. Yeah, Tex-Mex place, <laughs> for is, sure. I'm gonna tell you what is that I'm spitting, but it ain't quitting, it's getting through to me. All alcohol purchasing boils down to a graphic design competition. 
and especially wine. I, I wish there was another way, but wine especially, you're like looking at a wall and you're like, I guess this one with the skull on it is good. So Rita, if you're watching, we gotta do something about this. Yeah, let's try Rita Ora. Oh! <laughs> it's, it's so fruity. This is, is sweet in a way that's shocking. It's not quite cotton candy vodka, but it's not, not that. It is filled with hope and optimism. I felt that. Dos Primos. This is Thomas Rhett. Two Prime. Who's that? It's a singer-songwriter. And we're sure he's a celebrity. Let's try this country singer's take on a Mexican classic. <laughs> Oh, it's so bad that I might go in for a second. <laughs> I just inhaled out of the bucket. <laughs> I don't inhale out of the bucket. Um, yeah, it tastes like garbage. It's like a, a dumpster on a hot day. It smells like, it tastes like gar garbage garbage. <laughs> Not like, oh, that tastes like trash, like it's bad. Like, it tastes like garbage. Oh, hell yeah. Casa Dragones from Ryan Seacrest. Oh, hell yes. Oh, I hope it's good. We're gonna tell you what we think about this tequila right after this. He's a busy guy. Yeah. I don't know how he does it. How does he even have time to develop a tequila brand? There was a rumor years ago that uh, that he got his hair cut fresh every morning at 5 a.m. I choose to believe it. He also uh, produced the Kardashian show. He's an announcer, he's a radio host. That man's printing money. Okay, cheers. Cheers to Seacrest. We met him once. I'm gonna swallow it for Ryan. Oh, I regret it, it's bad. <laughs> Tastes like the dentist. Yeah. It's not good. I'm disappointed. Let's move on to Santa. I'm sorry, Santo. Santofino. Now, what if I told you that this was a collab between Sammy Hagar and our very own peer, Mr. Guy Fieri. Wow. You know, I when we joined the, the Food Network in the show that um, we don't care for and you didn't watch, it's fine. Uh, I was expecting like a welcome to the family letter from Guy. I thought we'd be there for the, the, the kooky Thanksgiving live show. I It's really you know? the main reason I did the show was so that I would get Guy. And Guy has not gotten got. No, he's too busy. I think no matter what, what? we should say that we love this. You should love it. Yeah, okay, let's okay, pour let's it. Okay, let's do it. The, the, Guy the, Fieri's one. Sam. Do you know who Sammy Hagar is? No. Cool. All Guy right. Fieri. Flavor Town. Citrusy. I swallowed this one too. I've, I've had a, a, um, a dangerous amount for how early it is in the video. <clears throat> it's um, tastes like tequila. I would say this is the best one I've ever had. I like it very much. Um, who made this one? Oh my God, this was Guy Fieri's. Uh, that's such a crazy, that's cool. Come on to our shows. You know, I, I dressed up as Guy Fieri for Halloween many, many years ago, and uh, I had only ever shared this photo with our Patreon, but now it can be your nightmare as well. Okay, now it's time for the challenge. Rachel, you're going to pour one of these bottles into these glasses, and we won't look, and we'll see if we know which one it was. <laughs> okay. okay, let's try this one. Okay. This is Rita Ora. Boom! You did it. Video saved, keep watching. <laughs> well, don't just take our word for it, we need help. We're gonna have some friends join us along the way because um, I might get really drunk. It's time for Influencer Vodka. And joining us is the greatest influencer of our time, Miles Bontignore. Yes, thank you so much, Keith. Wow, what an introduction. Hi, I'm Miles, and I can't wait to get wasted today. Let's try Sunny Vodka. This is from Anastasia Karanakaolo and, and Zach Bia. Oh my God, by the way, isn't Zach Bia Olivia Rodrigo's ex-boyfriend? Correct, confirmed from Tana Mojo's podcast. I don't know who this fucking guy is, he's dating everyone. but he seems to be everywhere. No. I'm just gonna say this, and this is slanderous, mm -hmm. but he seems to have broken Olivia's heart, so I'm fine to say it. He's very ugly. Although he's, yeah. he's, he's so ugly, and he's everywhere. In all of his photos, he's like, mm. And I was like, he's at all these parties. I don't even know what he's an influencer. What does he do? Well, I don't know what. And he how did does. he date? How did he break our baby girl's heart? I hate ugly people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> All right, let's try the sunny vodka. I don't love vodka. I think vodka is sort of like, it tastes like alcohol with that didn't make a choice. Are you reviewing the branding as well? That's adorable. It's simple. I do love that it says it's gluten-free in so many places. Of course. Well, it's a love story between best friends in California. Who is this guy? Cheers. Cheers to sunny days. This is a lot like when you go to the dentist and they are about to do a procedure. The smell when it uh, comes to your nostrils, caustic. It, yeah, it really smells a lot worse than it tastes. I think the taste is actually okay. It has like a light sweetness to it as well. When she sang Bloodsucker Fame Fucker, it could have been him. Mm, I think it was. So I'm, I think that this vodka sucks. Hey, Zach Bia, fuck off. Let me try, guys. <laughs> no, but I will say this uh, vodka is not my favorite, and I'm actually getting no flavor from me. And I don't think really? it's because I'm stupid. I think it's because it's not very good. As, okay. as three friends currently living a love story, do we feel like this vodka represents us? Ooh, no. No. Great, next. No. It's time for Skinny Girl. My girl, Bethany Frankel from Real Housewives in New York. It says that it has natural flavors, which uh, scares me. It smells much nicer than the other one. It's also, it's the bare, bare naked. naked. Is that the flavor? Probably, she must have like, cause vodka is one of the only alcohols that comes with like a million flavors. Like rum and vodka both can be super flavored, right? But there's not a lot of like watermelon whiskeys out there. Honestly, my biggest memories of vodka are in high school drinking like a whipped cream flavored vodka Ugh. when I was a teenager of legal age. Drinking age. 21 teen. Tastes like nothing with a little sweetness to it. If you want to get lit, then I guess get this. That's a good sell right there. <laughs> if you want to get lit, have this. Skinny girl. This looks cheap to me. The logo, that's like some MS Paint bullshit. Honestly, it looks British. Oh, Whoa, that's an insult. We gotta move on. Wow. <laughs> Let's move on. This is adorable. The Pink Whitney. Uh, this is a three-way collab between Ryan Whitney, Paul oh. Bissonette, and Barstool Sports. Barstool presents Pink Vodka. Well, Barstool? I don't trust anyone that, that serves me Barstool Vodka. Yeah. This says it's made with real vodka. Yeah. <laughs> vodka with pink lemonade. This is the one you keep in the room because it's already a mixed drink. You don't have to do any work. This is oh. for the hotel room right here. Yeah. Oh, f me up. We're gonna need another round of these, I think. Round of the pink drink for me and the fellas. And actually for the people in the bullpen as well. <laughs> I, I just went back 15 years and I love this. It's a college poor drink. This you would know? give you the absolute worst hangover of your life. This is gonna make you, you feel like hell. You this is slam these back. 90% vodka, 10% pink lemonade in your dorm room and you put it in a Gatorade bottle and you walk out to the quad. Yeah, and you get rejected from a frat party for being me. <laughs> you bringing any girls to the party, bro? I don't know anybody. I'm new here. Thanks, man. Go ahead. I'll go back to my dorm. <laughs> Let's see me out, guys. <laughs> well, Miles, thanks for stopping by. What is your favorite drink? I'm a Negroni man myself. That's usually the cocktail that I love. Rachel's nodding, cheering, running around. Miles, what are you working on? Where can the people find you? You can check me out on the tripod. You can check me out on Perfect Person, my call and advice show, and also I'm making YouTube videos to try to freaking be as big as my favorite guys here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what's next. Actor, music, fashion, vodka. Actor, music, music fashion, vodka. vodka. Actor, music, fashion, vodka. Lady Gaga. I don't think she has one, but it uh, this sounded like a Lady Gaga song. This next category is actor, music, fashion, vodka. vodka. First up, Blake Shelton, everyone's favorite, The Voice Judge. American this is Smithworks American Made Vodka. You know it's Blake Shelton because it has a tractor on it. It's light, it's bright, it's refreshing. It's vodka. Um, you know he's married to Gwen Stefani now. What a couple. I don't know if I'd spin my chair around for this one. I've never watched that show. Me neither. I think the glass that we poured my vodka in was full of dust. <laughs> <laughs> Super stoked about this next one. Dan Aykroyd's Crystal Head Vodka. I love a little skull. And I love Dan Aykroyd. Look how fun this is, it's so spooky. Yeah, it is definitely, it's a bookshelf bottle. Crystal, Crystal Head. Head. Oh, that burns. That burns a lot. Oh my God. 
I swallowed it thinking that like, oh, it's a head. I should, I should, I should do the head. Oh, it burns the tongue? It burns. Yeah, it, it oh, I just oh, shy wow, mama. Wow, 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 I feel wow. like it's it's melting my face and turning me into this. Yeah. Crystal head just sounds so dirty, doesn't it? I don't know why it sounds so dirty, but it it's does. the crystal part. Crystal head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it burned and I don't know what it tastes like. Kate Hudson, King Street Vodka. Ooh, I like this design. It looks like an old couch. There's Kate. There she on the is. Tag. Hi. There she is. Hi, ma'am. Kate Hudson, what's she do? She's an actress. She's Good in so many. Her. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, Knives Out 2. Oh, I like that. The Glass Onion one. I liked them all. This is so boho chic. Yeah. This is 2010 in a bottle. It's a vintage shop. This is a wallpaper in the bathroom of oh, a fragrance shop. Yes. <clears throat> Whoa. Ouch. 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 It says on this, 100% insanely smooth and delicious. That was caustic. Have it I was, used that description already in this video? And a little bitter. Yeah. There's a little bitter hanging on my tongue. It didn't burn as much as the skull, but it burned more than the others. Let's try vodka 6100. Robert De Niro. This my vodka? This my vodka? <laughs> Am I doing it? Yeah. You pouring my vodka? You guys are doing the same thing. I don't know if anyone's doing Robert De Niro. <laughs> this is my vodka. This is my vodka. This, this is what you call my vodka. This is my vodka. Is this what you call my vodka? You talking to me? Wee! Wee! Oh, it's over. It's from New Zealand. It's made from whey. It's triple distilled. I like how like it bold classic. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's sweet. That's nice. good. This is good. But it's very little each time. I mean, look how much is still in the glass. He didn't even fill it up. A little tea sips. Is it doing a little tea sip? <laughs> um, I liked it. I thought it was tasty. I, I like it. If I drank alcohol, which I don't, this would be on the top of my celebrity alcohol list. Roberto Cavalli Vodka, ribbed for your pleasure. Who's that? Fashion. Fashion. Can't be that high end, we're not wearing it. It's tall, it's, it's the tallest tall. bottle of the day. This is the only one that uh, is named after the person. Let's try this fashion designer's taste. All this shit tastes like vodka. Hmm. The flavor was non offensive, didn't make me go black. Didn't make me go black. It, did, it had a tiny burn, but negligible. I thought the flavor is okay. Who's here? Show yourself. It's lunch, probably. Lunch. Hell Woo! yeah. Do you want to play the guessing game? I, I think we can do it. An unblemished record at this point. <laughs> it's true, you're, one out, you're batting one out of one. Okay, we're gonna find out which vodka this was. Oh, it burns my nostrils. Okay. Oh, could be the skull. <laughs> you think it's Blake? Blake or Dan? It didn't burn me as much as Dan's did. Oh, we know time. Kate burned the most. It's Kate Hudson. No, Dan's burned the most. Kate's burned the second most. Is it Kate Hudson? Is it Dan Aykroyd? <sighs> two for two. So maybe it burns less when it's wider, you know? We knew it was one of the burning ones, so give us that. Now it's time for Mezcal, the scotch of the tequila world. It's smoky tequila. It burns twice. First up, we've got Dos Hombres. This is from Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul. They're on it. You would think that having one of the most critically acclaimed TV shows would be enough. Not for them. What if we don't review it unless they come on the show? It smells like tires. God, it smells I so think bad. we can get them. They we're bartenders at Drake's birthday. We're, we're basic not Drake. We're basically Drake. No, we're not. We're like the Drakes of YouTube. Everyone says it. Oh, it's so bad. It smells terrible. Did you say tire? It smells like tires. It does smell like tires. Oh, God. Oh, I even just putting it to my mouth, you get it. Well, it tastes way better than tires. Actually, it does taste pretty okay. It smells awful. It smells horrific, and it tastes totally good. It's smooth, but the smokiness just gives, like, coats your throat. I kind of like it. I like it. Aaron, Brian, bitch. Bitch. Look at you. This is Jorge Masvidal. Look at you. Ricardo Mascal. So colorful. Who is, who is Jorge? Mixed martial artist. MMA. MMA. Mama. I like that, that MMA is the only fighting they call an art. You can buy arts from Marshalls too. Ding, ding, ding. In this corner. Whoa. 
This smells like a condo in a, in a beach town. You taste it? Oh, I didn't taste it. Um, <laughs> this one is uh, not the best. <laughs> it was so bad I want to taste it again. <laughs> It was like floral and smoky and burny. It'd be fun to do this video with two-way glass and the boxer was on the other side listening to Ooh. us. Ooh! Celebrities react to us reacting to their liquors. Robert De Niro being like, these guys? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well those are the mezcals. I loved this one to be honest, because I thought I was gonna hate all of them. I did not like that one, but I like the one from the Breaking Bad Boys. 30 minute lunch, so Zach and I are having salmon. So next time you see us, I'm sure we will be just as vibrant. We'll see you after this. Welcome back. Welcome Zach. back. Welcome I, back, Zach. I, I we had salmon, Zach didn't eat much of his salmon. I know, I sold you on how much salmon we were gonna have. Zach had almost none of his salmon, but I had all my salmon. I feel reset, refreshed. And we have some actor tequila. First up, Flecha Azul Tequila. Mark Wahlberg, everyone's favorite actor who we somehow just pretend that he didn't commit hate crimes in the 80s. Let's try his tequila. Oh, that sucks. No one wants to not hear the Let's look at it real quick. It looks like it isn't a celebrity one. They're just trying to get you. Mark, you've got plenty. You don't need to get into the f***ing tequila game. I'll fight you, Mark Wahlberg. The Surgeon General, such a funny title, isn't it? Just drink the food, boys. The Surgeon General? I don't know if this is good or not, but I don't think you should drink it. I think it's fine. I think it, it burns a little bit. Not a offensive flavor, just has a lot of burny. A lot of burny. I also don't believe that Mark Wahlberg drinks. He's all about his BAC. What's that? What's back? Am I making that? Or uh, I'm thinking of something else. BMI? He's all about his BMI. <laughs> we all want to get in this bottle, don't we? What is that? Casa, Casa del, del Sol. Sol. Eva Longoria. It's got a leather little belt. It's got a leather little string. It's got a gold cap. It's fancy. It's Eva, Eva Longoria. My goodness. <laughs> Mm, mm-hmm. Ouch. Mm-hmm. It hurts. Ouch. It burned, but I think it tastes good. You're buying a lot of the presentation, and this presentation is it's hot. It kind of looks like tanning oil from the back. Do you want to see how it works? Ooh. No officer, I was just tanning. Time for Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Teremana. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Famously says that he does not drink alcohol, he doesn't have sugars, he has a very boring man diet. So I don't know what he's doing pretending to be a little alcohol expertito. He likes money just like the rest of us. I think that he's gonna become like super Republican and run, run for president. That's, that's my theory. And I say this as someone who loves him in Fast and Furious. He's in Moana. I know. He's the people's champion, he's the people's elbow. If you smell what The Rock is cooking. Let's smell what The Rock is drinking. That's Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I adore. No one has ever given off more asexual energy in the history of the world. Close your eyes and try and picture Dwayne The Rock Johnson making out. You know, what? He's too big. He's too big. Let's have a taste. The People's Tequila. Very burny. Ooh, I'm ooh. Kinda like, I kinda like it. It's kinda good, but it has a lingering scorch. Kinda like Jumanji 2. Yeah. Back to the jungle. It's burny, neutral, lightly sweet. It tasted a lot like some of the last ones I've had. Nothing special going on. It doesn't make me go, oh, interesting. It just tastes like a fine tequila. Thanks, Dwayne. Come on the show anytime. I'm a big fan. Casamigos. George Clooney. This has got to be the most successful celeb yeah. alcohol. Yeah. It's more in a year on that than he does on films. I believe it. In Aspen, there's a, a super community of the richest people in the world, and Clooney's got a house there. You think uh, Failure to Launch bought that house? <laughs> Casamigos. Was he in Failure to Launch? I just went for it. Ah, fuck, it was McConaughey. Let me do my joke again. They sold Casamigos for $1 billion. Let me do my joke and then we'll react to this. <laughs> $1 billion. You think Ocean's Eleven bought that house? We got it. Casamigos is House Friends? House Friends is not as good a name. 
Becky is my house friend. Becky is my house friend. Woo! Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's, it's nice. I just feel like I got seduced. It's good. I drank it. I. It tasted good. It didn't have any of that harsh bite. Very smooth, lightly sweet, nice. It makes me think of house friends. Gran Coromino. This is, of course, Kevin Hart. The tallest bottle for the shortest man. Got him. Zing. What are you gonna do? <laughs> It's with Juan Domingo Beckman. I'm in Kevin Hart's uh, Instagram. He said, I'm honored to be to partner with an absolute legend, Juan Domingo Beckman. His family invented tequila. That's a bold ass claim, and I don't know, I don't know if I believe it. They've been making tequila for 11 generations. Mmm. Ooh! Mmm. Sweet! Oh, it's so sweet! Like you put sugar in it after it was distilled. It tastes very sweet. Ooh, like Kevin Hart's little sweet kisses. <laughs> okay. Mario Lopez and Oscar de la Hoya. Mexico house. Ooh, Ooh, I love this. The bottle is hot. Ooh, the top with the triangles on it. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Look at those triangles. Yes, sir. Dude, I like this. It's sleek. It's also got a little embossed uh, agave plant. Very pretty. I think it's I, nice. This is? Woo, woo. Top tier bottle alert. Hot bottle. Check it and see. Hot bottle. Come a, drink with me. It's a, it's a good bottle. Yeah, all these bottles suck compared to this one. This Mario bottle. and Oscar, you guys crushed it. Whoa, it smells purple. Floral. Purple. Yeah. yeah, right? It smells purple. Ah, it smells good. It smells like Kool-Aid. It tastes purple. purple. What in the grimace is this? Wow. This does not taste like any tequila I've ever had. But it's good. It's good. I like it. It tastes like a kid's purple cough syrup tequila, and I love it. It's finally time for so tall. It's a distillate made from a shrub, commonly called desert sweet. So this is from Lenny Kravitz. Lenny, pour me a glass. Whoa. Oh, it doesn't smell good. Wild herbs, dried stone fruit, caramel, honey. Stone fruit. And <laughs> what? Dried stone fruit. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> I love the dried stones. The fruit is also nice. <laughs> this smells like it would just melt the paint off of your walls. It is just so chemical smelling. Like it smells like nail polish. Remover. I know what you said, but I swear you said me. <laughs> melt the paint off your balls. <laughs> and I was like, whoa. This will melt the paint right off your balls. Have you guys seen the photo of Lenny Kravitz where his pants ripped on stage? <laughs> this dog came out. <laughs> it's very funny. He's wearing tight leather pants. Um, and he was wearing uh, on stage to kind of juice up the performance. And so his p let me just to, so he's standing like so with a guitar like this, his pants rip and he's going, yeah! But he doesn't yet know that. He doesn't feel the breeze? Well, it's the moment that it happens. And so his dong is hanging out with a, with a ring on it. Um, How are you holding your hands like that? <laughs> That's something that someone would have said, that'll put some hair on your chest. You know when you light a joint with a lighter and you get a full puff of butane? That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this. It's an acquired taste. And I haven't acquired it. Uh-uh. Well, those are all the tequilas from the actors and Lenny. Um, <laughs> next up, Quasi's here, it's time for rum. But rum, 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 rum. Quasi's here, Quasi's here. Everybody, please welcome Quasi. How you doing, Quasi? Get on in here. Sex drinking some Gatorade. We're feeling good. We are gonna have some rum from musicians. Yeah. You guys look adorable together.
This is from Ciara. 10 to 1. Yes, this is a very Caribbean term. Really? 10 to is 1. It? Yes, yes, yes. My, my mom says it's like old English time. So it's like, what time is it? Oh, it's 10 to 1, 10 minutes to 1. Oh, it's quarter past. Quarter past whatever time. So the bottle pop test. Ooh, that's a one already. Mm. If you hear a bunch of knocking, it's it's Jack. He's being really unruly off camera. I don't know what's going on. They're building stairs somehow. <laughs> yeah, Jack is crump dancing in the other room. All right, so this product is from a product of Trinidad, Barbados, Jamaica, and the Dominican Republic. All of the nice, dope islands. Oh my we god! Love that. How can it be from all of them? Oh, you, well, rum is a uh, you know one of the big byproducts of uh, the Caribbean. So like, um, kind of like. Almost why the Caribbean exists from colonization. Wow. A little bit of history. I love that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I love colonization. We, we love, love that. that. <laughs> we love that. Let's go, baby. Cheers. Oh, Run. oh, sipping. That shit's smooth, dude. Mm hmm. Actually, it is. Ciara. Mm hmm. Mm, okay. Nice. Leveled me up. It actually has a great like caramelized flavor. The finish on it is really nice. It's dancing on my tongue. Mm. Yeah, it's a really sweet finish. I want yeah. leather notes. Do you yeah. taste uh -huh. leather notes? Mm -hmm. Next up, bamboo rum. Bamboo. Mm. This is from Lil Wayne. This is some pirate shit. This feels very pirate. This fucking smells sweet. It's got a lot of vanilla. Ooh. Definitely a lot of vanilla. Oh gosh, this smells yeah. like a cupcake. Uh, uh. Mm. I think I'm gonna need a spit bucket, Rachel. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's crazy because it I burns it. intensely, but is so sweet. That is Werther's original as liquor. Wow, that's a lot. I think it'd be so good in coffee. It's so similar to like a Bailey's in flavor. I'm mm. not even kidding. It's so sweet. If pirates were drinking this, They'll lose their legs from <laughs> diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they have peg legs. Yeah. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. It's Blue Chair Bay. From Kenny Chesney, of course. Who the hell Kenny is Chesney. Kenny? Who the hell is Kenny Chesney? Country star. Oh, word. Kenny Chesney. Well, bless up yourself, Kenny. I don't know why he made a rum. Word. Hey. Why he made a rum that looks like a 13-year-old girl's perfume. <laughs> Guys, do you like coconut? <laughs> I don't like coconut like that. Well, I, <laughs> yeah. I, hope, I hope the answer is, Keith, I love coconut. Really? Because you're about to go on a coconut adventure. <laughs> Just crazy. smell this. Oh, shit. It's like coconut oil. That's sunscreen. Blue What's the story Blue here? chair. He brought his inspiration from the islands to share with the world. Yeah. Kenny, you've been to Sandals one time. <laughs> And you f***ing make it a drink, Kenny. What the hell's going on here? Guys, I found out what a coconut was. <laughs> yeah. You can make booze out of it. Closest this guy's been to the islands is going to Mar-a-Lago. Let's be real. <laughs> oh, shit. Blue chair. Oh, blue chair. Let's do it. Big up yourself, Kenny. Oh. <laughs> now, now I'm going to say something. Here. Uh, Mr. Chesney. This is delicious. And I, I owe you an yeah. apology. <laughs> yeah. And uh, um, this is this is a fine coconut drink. <laughs> I don't is, like coconut. This is phenomenal. <laughs> this is, is darling. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> is plum darling. This, this, is, this is the best thing I've tasted yeah. today. This I is know. frosting. Yeah. Kenny. Yeah, oh. after, Kenny. After I got off the coconut, the shit kind of came in front. Oh, it's pretty good. This is adorable. <laughs> Kenny, I want to run through the gumdrop forest and, and suckle this from the coconut trees. It oh is. my goodness. Ah. Damn, don't it's, sleep on Kenny. This is the cutest drink I've ever had. I'm going to load up to Spotify. I know what I'm doing. Right? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's candy. Like, this shit is smooth. I don't even taste the alcohol in it. There's wow. a song he has called She Thinks My Tractor's Sexy. Oh, it's 26% alcohol. That's why I don't taste the alcohol in it. What Trinidadian woman put you onto this, Kenny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Salva Ray from Bruno Mars. That's a like a Grammy. Yeah, this is, looks like a trophy. Yeah. And the Fair Roche chocolate on top. I was at a fancy restaurant in Los Angeles. It's a no photographs allowed restaurant. He was there with Anderson Pack and their Silk Sonic trumpet player. They were at the table next to us, and randomly during dinner, the trumpet player took out his trumpet and just started playing. 
along with piano and every and then Shit. and then Bruno started like gooba da dapping on top of it. He was scatting. He was like, he was like, oh. Uh, here we go now, <laughs> bringing it around. Here we go, here we go, hey! And it was magical. All right, Bruno Mars, white rum. Mm -hmm. After you have Kenny's, Kenny Chesney's perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is good, this is totally fine. The smell is terrible. The smell is, smells like rubbing alcohol. The taste smells like okay rum. It's okay. It's too, too much. It's so much in your face. I'm gonna tell you what, Bruno, when it comes to this rum, I'm gonna leave the door closed. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, it's it's very mediocre, especially following this rum, which is legitimately, like, I think the what you want rum to taste like mm. normally. This, which is just an absolute treat. This is also a little candy, candy something or other. And this is like very mad. Crazy, uh, we're gonna be funny. What are you working on? Boo, I'm working on some stuff with the Try Guys, and then I got my, Chocolate makes me thirsty hat. Go check out Hats and Hydration and bless up yourself. Now to play us out, some generic country music <laughs> yeah, from yeah, our yeah, music yeah. library. It's time for the original flavored vodka. Gin. Room temp gin. Room temp Everyone's gin. Everyone's favorite. Mahalan Gin from Walton Goggins. He's dope, we like him, he's an OG. And you know when that motherfucker shows up, it's about to be a good time. Who's that? He's cool, he was in Justified, Righteous Gemstone. <clears throat> it's time to get Goggin. <laughs> oh my <Whoa>! goodness. <gasps> Woo! It's like someone lit a cucumber on fire. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's cucumber in the sun. Let's try uh, Goggins Gin. I can't even drink it. The smell is so overwhelming as it comes to your mouth. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is one of the most complexly flavored alcohols we've had today. It's, it's bouncing all over the place. Celery, cucumber, <laughs> some other flavors, herbs, and then burn. Ouch, alcohol, ouch. <laughs> How strong of alcohol is this? 48%. That's why it burns. <laughs> Figured it out. I feel like I'm at like, at like the Mad Hatter's birthday. <laughs> but it is fun. It has a lot of fun flavors. I'm going Goggins for this one. Next up, the Indiegogo. No, Indo. <laughs> In Indigo. Is it not Indiegogo? No. Indago. I would hang out with Snoop Dogg. Yeah. If you'd like to, Mr. Dog, you're welcome on to Smoke Show anytime. Would be great to smoke with you. Obviously a bucket list of every person who's ever smoked weed before. Well, we've got another exciting smell ahead. Why does it smell like Kool-Aid? Yeah. I already smell it and it smells like Kool-Aid. Dude. It is like Kool-Aid. It's like somebody opened a Kool-Aid dust packet and uh -huh. the dust went everywhere. Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> Let me smell it. What? <laughs> Huh? I, I'm expecting any minute someone to burst through the wall and scream, oh yeah. This is already gin and juice. It's ideal for sipping on the rocks with a squeeze of lime. It's hmm. pretty fucking good. The ice definitely takes the edge off. The lime. Uh, gives it just a little bit more freshness. Doggy dog. It's good. This is one of my tops of the day. It's fruity. And the smell is kind of beyond compare. It's, it's really tremendous. I love it doggy style. Mm. Snoop, you've done it again. <laughs> you've done it again, another hit. Now it's time for Mr. Funny Sexy, Ryan Reynolds, the Aviation Gin. He loves having his brands that just have a little snark to them. We're a cool brand. He's like so good at being Ryan Reynolds. To the Green Lantern. The greatest superhero of all time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's good gin. That's what you want gin to taste like. That's good gin. Yeah. Ryan, you're not just hot. That's a refreshing gin for a gin and tonic right there. A hot summer day sitting on the porch, yum. How has he not done a Reynolds wrap integration? It's time for more tequila somehow. This is sports and superstars. Superstars, what the f does that mean? It's two athletes and um... Two billionaires. <laughs> time for athletes and billionaires. First up, 
Kendall Jenner. Between Kendall, dating Bad Bunny, she's dating Benito, she's making her tequila. She's just creeping her way down below the border and she's trying to take it all over. But have you seen the bottle? It's gorgeous. I'm not talking this one. The 818 bottle. That's hilarious. It's beautiful. It looks like a bong. <laughs> it's like a ceramic vase that you, I would just put on my shelf. Cooler than this. Yeah, well, let's see, this is the cheap one. But I'm excited to try this. 818. It burns, it could be smoother, but it is sweet. It's good. I mean, and this is, I believe, the bottom shelf version of 818, so it only gets smoother and more expensive from here. Nice sweetness, nice flavor, acceptable. Acceptable plus. The Kardashians just have too much. They're royalty. Let's see this one. Oh God, it's Lobos, it's LeBron James. LeBron James. I like that this bottle does look like a strong person, and on the back, it's got a little butthole. I, the back looks like a dick. Back looks like a dick. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm circumcised, so it looks. I've never seen a dick with a butthole like that. <laughs> LeBron James, he's pretty good at basketball, but let's see how he does when it comes to tequila. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I even could tell the difference between these two. They taste the same. Oh, it got on me. This is Sincoro from Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, now that's a basketball player. We can't ever settle who is the better basketball player, but we can settle who makes the better tequila. This is huge. Bleeding with his belly, he's like a king. He's like a king walking around naked. Sincoro tequila from Michael Jordan. I'm this is good, it's smooth, it's sweet, it's nice. It's got like a little uh, a little bit of that sugary finish. Caramelized. I that's what I was trying to get at. Let's take it back and I'll just move my mouth and you say it. Caramelized. <laughs> to me, this is somewhere living between a tequila and a, a whiskey in a way that's really nice. So I get that. Okay, well, now it's time for the Teslas of tequila. The Tesla the tequila. The Tesla tequila. This is kind of our, in every video, we just want to take a moment to remind you that Elon Musk is a giant idiot, piece of shit, <laughs> dork loser. Uh, but now we're going to try his tequila. Why isn't it a coil? <laughs> it's Tesla. Tesla coil. He knows what Tesla was from, right? Do not pull at an angle or sideways. Failure to follow these instructions could result in breakage. That's... And then it says, salud. You, Elon. Like most things that Elon does, this is style over substance so and faulty as hell. This is Elon Musk's Tesla tequila. So we, we gave him money. $600, right? More. How much was this? How? 1100 big ones? Including shipping, it was 1400 1400 big ones for this? It better be good. <laughs> is this the most expensive one? Of course it is. Well, let's try Elon's treat. Even admitting that you've tried this is a red flag. No matter what, I'm gonna be pissed off when I try it. What matter it's what is delicious. Give him a chance, the poor guy. Everyone's been so mean to him. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a chance. This is bad tequila. I'm not sure it's good. Don't spit, it's $1,100. I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's the most expensive sip I've ever taken in my life. It's the most expensive spit I've ever spat. <laughs> <laughs> it did burn me so much it made my eyes water. All the others had something sweet about it. This has nothing sweet about it. Which I imagine is the experience of, of working with him, so. Accurate. It's, it's time, time for, for Whiskey, Whiskey Bourbon with our friend Garrick Bernard. I'm a bourbon boy and whiskey guy. Well, so are you an Ian Summerholder and Paul Wesley guy? Oh, I don't know who they are. <laughs> yeah! They do. What is happening? <laughs> they love it. <laughs> oh, this is the Vampire Diaries whiskey. So this is Brothers Bond Bourbon, Brothers AKA Bond. The Vampire Diaries. Oh, oh they're, they're show, the they're show brothers. brothers. So this is really Vampire Diaries bourbon. It's not really it theirs. Like years off your show. But it was That's weird. catered directly to Vampire Diaries yeah. fans. Yeah. Our brotherhood has led us right here oh with God. all of you. Oh, God. They know what they doing. On three, who do we think is hotter, Ian or Paul? One, two, three. Ian. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who these guys are. Um, Let's get into the bourbon. 
Let's do it. It smells like bourbon. Looks like bourbon. Cheers. What does it taste like? I'm gonna take a real sip. Hmm. It, it tastes like whiskey. Mm -hmm. It's not special. That, that's not what the TikTok wants. Wow! Wow! What <laughs> that is? That <laughs> brother's bond is the best Ooh. of all time. Dear diary. Oh. <laughs> I, <laughs> had a, I had a whiskey that tasted like a barrel. Oh, I bite, loved it. Bite into my neck and suck the blood right out. Oh, I hope it's brother's bond whiskey. <laughs> it's not super noteworthy. No, it tastes like a barrel. Yeah, it tastes kind of like, like vampire diaries. Oh. <laughs> You said you wouldn't watch Paddington. Yeah. We're at war. Yeah, yeah we are. Please try to compare Vampire Diaries. <laughs> oh, oh, easily. It's a way better product. It's fine. I would totally accept this though. It, it's very acceptable. It's yeah. good. Maybe good plus. I would drink it again if Ian were pouring it. I would oh, yeah. Ian yeah. was in front of me. Yeah, I think the only way to get me to like actually choose this over something else is if either one of them were there. I do like Brothers Bond a lot. I'm gonna let those brothers bond over me. If you Oh, oh, hot. <laughs> this next one is Jamie Foxx's brown sugar bourbon. This looks like bottom shelf bourbon. Honestly, BSB could yeah. stand for that. The, uh, bottom <laughs> shelf. Yeah. This yeah. looks like generic. And I love Jamie Foxx. Right, yeah, I, I, I would rather it like showed how talented he I wish it was just it. Jamie Foxx in a suit. Jamie Foxx in a suit. Have you ever seen the video of him pitching? Is it a Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson movie? movie? Yeah. He is the so. most charismatic, unbelievable performer. He is so talented. My friends, I would like you to take a sniff. Whoa! Oh. Shit. Jesus Christ! Holy don't. It smells like your sweet spice cabinet. It's, it smells like Christmas, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Which I feel like there's a lot of fights have started because they started drinking this yeah. at Christmas. Let's try it. <laughs> this tastes like maple syrup. Yeah. That's nasty. I don't like that one. I like it. That's I don't like nasty. That, one. that one's really, that one doesn't even taste like a bourbon. This tastes, tastes like a like, rum. It's like a rum, like something, something that is, I don't, I don't know. It just doesn't taste like, <laughs> it doesn't taste like a That's rum. crazy. That does match the label. Mm -hmm. Jamie must have gotten absolutely roasted when he presented this to his friends. Yeah. Oh baby, that's a bottle. Long this branch. Long branch. Wild turkey, long branch oh, bourbon from the one and only. It's your fucking boy. McConaughey. Motherfucking McConaughey, dog. All right, all right, all right. All right. Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> You're kind of giving George H.W. Bush. George, George H. W. Bush. Oh, yeah, thank you. Oh, oh, the papa. Well, it says Texas on here. I didn't know that it was. he did it with wild turkey. That's fun. Oh, so that's why it looks like a wild turkey bottle. Yeah. That's good. Cheers. Cheers. It really burns. Yeah. Which I think is what I remember about wild turkey. I want to like this so much more. Yeah. And I don't. I, in fact, I'm kind of missing the BSB. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know if I go that far. It tastes more like whiskey than bourbon. I love Matthew McConaughey, though. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Whiskey cool is guy. a flat circle. Oh, this whiskey. looks like <laughs> this bottle just won a pageant. This oh. is Sweetens Cove Bourbon from Peyton Manning and Andy Roddick. Ooh, oh, my it's big dog. And boozy as shit, too. It's 56.85% alcohol. This is solid. How do these collabs happen? How'd they say, Peyton Manning, you want to make a whiskey? Hold on. What if we got a tennis star to jump on board? Yeah. Y'all have done Casamigos already, right? Yeah. yeah. It was and good. That's, that's the bar to, yeah, it was to hit. Quite good. It's fantastic. Yeah. It was... It's no Indago, but pretty good. <laughs> have you ever smelled Indago? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I can smell it as soon as you walked up. This, okay. This smells like what the jewels looked like on Snow White. Does that make sense? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, like, yeah. Something about this is just so vibrant and it's going to burn into my memory. Fantastic. I'm excited to try this. I, I, the bottle is kind of odd. It's an expensive like, one. The I, sashes I are yeah. weird, but it, it is pretty. It makes it feel like the um, color of the drink itself is the show rather than yeah. the bottle. Yeah, yeah. And it's a very pretty color. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Ooh. I like it. Mm -hmm. The proof is high. 
Wow, sensational. But the bright, citrusy beginning. <laughs> I love it. I, I don't like that Paint and Manning um, is this good at yeah, it's kind of another everything. thing. It it's feels fine. unfair. This one's the best oh. of this section by far. And, I, and, yeah. and it's because it is the most like unique. I think if you're making a bourbon, yeah. make something different. Yeah. Because this is good, but it's just bourbon. This is fine, and it's just bourbon. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> so honestly, it's so much more than bourbon. <laughs> honestly, I would rather you swing and miss this hard yeah. than just make this, because this I could buy anything like this. This was a choice, yeah. for sure. Well, what's going on with you? I got my podcast with Zach. I'm going on the road. What are you working on? Where can people find you? I'm Garrick Bernard on um, Twitter and Instagram. I'm working on uh, Rick and Morty. Watch that. Yeah, cool. Let's find out what's next. Whiskey time. This is Heaven's Door from Bobby Dylan. Bob Dylan. It's about time. We got to old Bolly Dilly. Bolly Dilly, Bobby Dilly. Billy Bolly Boo. You all know that my favorite Bob Dylan folk song. Billy Bobby Billy Boo. Boo. Billy, <laughs> you do. Billy Bobby Boo. Boo. Hey, all right. Look at this design. It's so spooky. It's like Edgar Allan Poe. It's called Heaven's Door, you know, because of his song that he's been knocking on it. Let me tell you what, if I get to heaven and this is what I see, uh-uh, I took a wrong turn somewhere. Heaven's Door. Mmm. Smooth with uh, a rustic finish. Very oaky, very woody, in, it, in a nice way. I don't know how to say this without it being weird. It tastes like what I imagine Bob Dylan would taste like. To, yeah. Per, perhaps to kiss. It tastes like a nice man's hat. It tastes leathery, woody, a little bit toasted. It's good, but in that same way from the last section, there's nothing unique about it that needed to be made by him. Oh, camp! Oh, here we go, peach pecan whiskey. This is from Florida Georgia Line. It's a band. Okay. Just two guys. It's Rhett and Link. <laughs> That's Red and Lake. <laughs> this feels it's like Red and Lake too. Nice. It doesn't this fun. feel like mythical? Yeah, it does look like their office. Yeah, it smells like peaches. <laughs> <laughs> it smells crazy. This is what I'm talking about. If you're gonna make something, make something new. Make something different. Make something dumb. Like P. Diddy. The aftertaste. <laughs> that is some peachos right there. Wowie zowie. Yeah, it, it tastes like an old fashioned, uh, but a flavored old fashioned. It, ha it has like the sweetness and a light bit of bitterness and the nut taste is great. I need some nuts. Uh, no, those are mine. <laughs> I don't know how much of it I could drink, but it's nice to have it. It feels like I should sit by the fire. Ooh, I love staring into a fire. Staring into the fire, drinking this, thinking about how the year was. You know, it's New Year's, you gotta think about the next year coming up. How was last year though? Did you do everything you wanted to do? It's okay, it's still next year. You'll get them next year, you'll get them. I love it because it's unique and I can describe it. I think I'm gonna get a tattoo of it on my back. Yeah, this one. Blackened cask strength. Metallica. 59% alcohol, let's try Metallica. Metallica. It burns not as much as Peyton's burned. It did have that same kind of bright beginning. Well, you take a sip and it's like that you exit light, you enter night. I feel this took me off to Never Never Land. I drank that and nothing else matters. <laughs> Other whiskeys Canadian whiskey, Irish whiskey, Scotch whiskey, rye whiskey. This is proper number 12 Irish whiskey from Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor, he's known for being wildly violent. Let's try it. That's pretty good Irish whiskey. It, it doesn't burn as much as uh, a lot of Irish whiskeys do. Pretty good, honestly. That, that's kind of what you want that to taste like. If only he was this good at fighting. I got him. It would not be about him to come over here and kick our ass. Conor, I fucking dare you. you. I don't. You coward. I don't. It's a proper 12 out of 10 for me. Let's try this one, it's a funny shape. Mercer and Prince, this is from ASAP Rocky, AKA Rihanna's husband. I have been so interested in this because there are billboards for this all over Los Angeles right now. Is it, can you open from either side? Both? Oh, it's a glass. 
<gasps> you can drink out of They're it. both glasses. You can drink out of it. That's cool. Let's do it. Yeah. I don't know if you're actually supposed to drink out of these, but Obviously we're gonna. Obviously you are. Are you? I think this They're is plastic. For? A custom set of cups are integrated into the design of our bottle. <laughs> are you kidding me? There's more plastic oh on here. Oh my God. ASAP. For someone named ASAP, you really make us take our damn time. Well, it says you can stand it up or lay it down. Yeah, I'm gonna lay it down. Okay, let's try Mercer, Mercer Prince. These are good. This round is hitting. Good. Yeah, I like that. It was sweet, but nice. Mm-hmm. You did it, Aesop. We love your fables and we love your whiskey. You did it. Let's try the Sassanet. From Sam Hune. Hune. Do this really count as a celebrity whiskey if I have to Google? This is from Outlander's own Sam Hugan. What was that, Santa? <laughs> what was Santa coming in? No, it's me, the Soxenock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try the scotch. It tastes like whiskey and hotel soap. It's a little bar wrapped in paper. That soap at the hotel. Mm. That one. Yeah, I think you nailed that. Yeah. Lava rolling. This is from Nick Offerman, and this is what I'm talking about. He put his face on the thing. Put your face on the thing. Let put us your know that it's yours. Let, Let me us know. know it's yours. Let me Who know. Is it? Who is behind it? This is the Offerman edition. I want to buy this because I think he's cool. Yeah. He plays a character that's a man's man, and I want to be as much of a man as that character is. <sighs> this one's gonna be scotchy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like I'm a, a 10 year old and I just stole a sip of my dad's drink when he wasn't looking. Nick, I get it, bro. You make canoes, you do woodworking with your bare hands. You don't need to prove it to me by killing your mouth. It tastes like varnish. It's like, yes, it's like a poker table that was recently varnished and people smoked a lot of cigars around it for 10 years. Yeah, it, it really has that uh, scotch vibe. That's why I don't like scotch, I don't like this. I also still get the hotel soap. Maybe that's part of scotch. The old man on the corner smoking a cigar while getting his shoe shined and he's just got this wet log in his mouth. If you walked up and said, excuse me, sir, can I just suck on that for one second? Yeah, you suck on an old man's wet log. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, this is what scotch is supposed to taste like. I think it's probably good, but I hate it. But now it's time for <whistles> Whistle Pig. <laughs> From the Brothers Osborne. Oh, hey, it's me, I'm Whistle Pig. Whistle Pig. This ain't the first pig I've ever seen whistle. Oh, I like that. He's a rich pig. He's a rich, he's a wealthy pig. That's why he's whistling. Everything's working out well. <laughs> Nobody's gonna eat him. He can whistle all he wants. Pa, you think I could be a whistle pig someday? <laughs> well, you'll have to study hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's what our next year live should be. Tennessee, something with Tennessee yeah, Williams. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Ooh, rye whiskey burns. Whoo! Right, I swallowed it. I feel it warming my esophagus. Makes me wanna. I can't whistle. <laughs> I don't think you're trying the right way. I don't know how. I, I've never known how to whistle. Just put your lips together. I. You can't teach a 32-year-old how to whistle. And also, I'm older than that. No, you. <laughs> Everyone who wants to learn this, here's a yeah. quick lesson. Do an okay, but with your middle finger and your thumb. Now, put your tongue, stick your tongue out. Go like, yeah. Uh, 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 put put this on like a, I don't know, 30% back of the tongue. But now, put the tip of your tongue behind your front teeth. So do like this. Uh, 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 and then you <laughs> grandma bite your lips. What do you mean grandma bite? Or like you carve your teeth, you go, and then you go, I can, I can Southern dad whistle. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's like being a whistle pig. Whistle pig was fine. It's rye whiskey, it burns, but it's good. The brandy and cognac. Oh, hilarious. 
Steven Soderbergh. Singani 63. Dude, label Soderbergh fucking rocks. This label's sick. If you don't know, let me get you known. Steven Soderbergh, one of the dopest directors that ever did it. Director of Ocean's Eleven. He famously retired from making movies, but he's like, just kidding, I'm gonna make movies outside the system. Apparently David Fincher will send his scenes to Steven Soderbergh and then Steven Soderbergh just for fun will re-edit them and send them back and they're always better. He just, this guy is vibrating at another level. Wow, I wish I was vibrating. Uh, I want to bite, you want to try? I have to pee. What is Brandy? I don't know, I thought Brandy was not clear. It's That's... Uh, produced by Still <laughs> Wine. So it's liquor made from wine. Yes. That's complicated, it must be good. Cheers. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's good. Well, I've uh, never had that before. It just tastes like the most alcoholic wine you've ever had, but it's refreshing in the way that wine is refreshing. It's distilled 6,000 feet altitude. That's so high. It says, which is really friggin' high, dude. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. <laughs> How yeah, much is this bottle? It was 38, that's a steal. This is one of my favorites from the day. I just, mostly because of its uniqueness. I've never tasted anything like it, but I do think it's quite pleasurable to drink. I don't want it to be too successful though, because I would like him to have to make more movies. Finally, from Sean Jay-Z Carter, the we Pope. have D-Ussie. D-Ussie. <laughs> We're gonna drink his D-Ussie. Do say. Do say. You do say. You say, do say. I don't know that I've, I certainly have had cognac, right? I don't know if you have. What is it? It's a form of brandy. Yeah, it's kind of a dessert wine liquor, right? Well, Keith, before we take this final sip of the OC, <laughs> <laughs> let us reflect on the day. Celebrities, some of them are good at stuff, some of them are not. Any standout favorites that you can just remember? That one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like that one. I remember it. I liked Peyton Manning's bourbon. I liked Indago. I liked Indago. I also liked Aviation Gin. It was very normal. Oh, oh the, the winner run. of the day, Kenny, Kenny Chesney, Chesney, with the you know a real uh, Sea Biscuit Cinderella story. Worst of the day, Tesla was disappointing, especially its cost. The Dan Aykroyd one burned. Yeah. I really liked this one, ASAP Rocky. ASAP Rocky's was good. I'm gonna say Rita Ora's was the worst. Of the whole day? I don't know, it just, the, the no. design was so no, bad. No, the Mezcal, pink and yellow Mezcal was bad. Well, let's try Jay-Z's <laughs> Duce. <laughs> This was good. It was it was warm. It definitely made me feel warm. I'll tell you what, this cognac is big pimping. That was fun. I liked them. I liked learning about the celebrities, the ones that actually were trying to make something different and the ones that were just sort of putting their name on a product that was like normal and good. I personally think if you're gonna make a product, make something unique. Even if you make something bad, I'd rather you do that than make something that tastes just like all the other things when I'm paying more. Let us know if we should do any other celebrity products. Wines, seltzers, you tell us. And if any of the celebrities that we talked about in this episode would like to come hang out with us, let us know. I'm looking at you, Mr. Kenny Chesney. Nap time. Thanks, thanks to all our guests. Thanks to Miles, thanks to Garrick, thanks to Quasi, thanks to Zach, How thanks to everybody here, and thanks to me. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Drink the Alcohol. See you next time. No. Oh, and Jamie Foxx's bourbon was garbage. Great. <laughs>